Hi, it's Chef and Builder J.D. Pendleton, and today we are back in the sewing room because I'm going to teach you how to make a simple pair of mittens. Again, I'll show you this pattern on here. See, I just traced it around my hand like this, giving myself a nice little neck here for the pattern. Now what I have here is I have a couple of sweaters. I mean, isn't this pretty? Won't this make for a nice glove? And you can use the sleeve on this if you have the smaller hands. And it turns out that this right here is going to work perfect. The sleeve will work perfect for my glove. And that'll be a left glove. And here we'll have, we'll just flip over the pattern and we'll have a right glove. And if you want to, you can even use the base of the sweater. But the, the base of the sweater or even the neck area of a sweater here, just like that right there, makes for a really good rim for the wrist of the glove. Okay, and that will make a pretty glove. Here we have just a plain sweater that has some really awesome buttons on it. And we can use this as well. We just have the right and we just have the left glove. Again, for a child's glove even, this works really well. But if you feel your hand is too big, then you just come down here and you just use this section down here along the bottom of the sweater. And then you can just take these buttons and add like little buttons on the top. Okay? And I'll show this to you here with one more style of sweater. I mean, what, what better way, what better gifts, you know? What better way to show somebody that you love them and to make them a nice warm pair of, um, of mittens for the winter. Okay, so now we have here another really pretty patterned sweater that's got some nice patterns to it. These remind me of the gloves I used to have as a girl when we used to go ice skating. Okay, and then here you just want, again, you just want to make uh, your cutout, your mittens, just like that right there, leaving this pattern right here for, for this wrist, wrist section right here, okay? And then you end up with a nice pair of mittens just like this, okay? See that? We're going to have a nice pair of mittens. All right, now these are a little thin, but these right here would make for a really good liner inside of something a little heavier, like this cable knit sweater, okay? Just to kind of give you an idea of what it's going to kind of look like, okay? And you could use this right here as a liner, and if you pull this inside out and give it a turn, you could make it so this pattern is actually showing on this mitten, just like that right there. And then you'd have a lined glove and a much heavier glove. And where you just want something to warm your hands up with a hot cup of cocoa at the football games. There you go. You know, this is a project your children can do. And I absolutely love this sweater, but it's so bulky, it made me look bulky. And um, no woman wants to look bulky. So I thought, you know what? This would make a really great pair of gloves. You know, maybe even like a short scarf or maybe even a knitted hat. So I decided I'm going to make some hat and gloves out of this sweater. Nothing wrong with it. It's just it's been worn a lot and and then it's just gonna make a really beautiful little little mitten here. See that? Won't that make a pretty mitten? And we'll get that nice and tightened down to fit my wrist, to fit my hand. And I'm excited about this. Great little project, simple little project. Um, you can uh, hand sew these if you can't use the machine, but uh, use a heavier duty, a piece of thread, and you can even use some matching yarn and do like a cross stitch on these on the outside if you'd like. You can do all kinds of things, collect buttons, brass buttons. You can really uh, maybe knit like a little floweret on here and maybe a button in the center. There's all kinds of things that you can do with making your own mittens. Just have fun with it. And like I said, if you feel like the material is still too thin and you think your hands are going to get too cold, then take just another sweater like this or some other fabric and line, make a set of four. Instead of making two mittens, make a set of four and then turn one mitten inside out and then roll the cuff over the top of the mitten and then you have a beautiful rolled cuff mitten. As a matter of fact, you can roll it up even higher like this. Okay, and then you can have the mitten like this, okay? And then you can have a button right here holding it, holding it down. So your cuff, and then just do a slip stitch here and here around. That way, see, you've got, um, you hold this cuff down. But I like it with the cuff just straight on it like this, you know? And I like a little bit deeper 
a little deeper mitten. So you can make your mitten as short, okay, as short or as long as you like. I mean, I like a little happy medium here. Right here's about the where I like my gloves. I like them to fit up and underneath my um, my jacket a little bit, so I don't get that snow up in there. Okay, so we have our pattern with our half inch seam allowance. We have our sweaters, and we have our decision of what we're going to make. And I'm going to go for this one. I just I love this sweater. Okay, so we're going to start with this one. And like I said, you can. Um, you can do quite a bit with a sweater like this. So we're going to start, we're going to make a right glove. And if you want to, you can cut four of these. And you can cut a couple here and here, OK? And here and here. And what you'd have here is then you would have a thicker mitten. You just turn it, you just make four of the same piece. And like I said, if you don't want anything that hot or that warm or you're not that cold of a climate, then just keep it a single layer. All right, so we're going to start here by laying this on here. And again, I want to decide how far down I want my glove to go. So I'm, I'm comfortable with it about right there. So just make your seam adjustment down here on the bottom. So I'm comfortable with it about right. Make sure you put your hand right here. You can even mark this with a marker if you want to. That way you know where to judge to put your hand. So if I put my fingertip there and I want this to come down here, yeah, I'm happy with that right there. That works for me. Okay, like I said, you can get a large darning needle just like this one here. You see that? And you can use that, you know, and do some yarn and hold it together with some yarn. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my longer pins here. And I'm going to pin this down where we want it. I like that right there. I'm just going to pin that like that right there. There we go. Get that one pin here. Okay, we're going to take our scissors. I'm going to go through one layer here at a time. I can see that. Right there's one. See, looks good. Looks like it's gonna fit my hand really nicely here. It's gonna stretch nicely over my hand. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go sew this and we're gonna make sure that this pattern is gonna work for us. If not, we still have the rest of the sweater to work with. So we're gonna run over here to the sewing machine and we're going to sew this first one together. Okay, I'm going to sew these in white. Here you can see the actual pattern here and how it fits relevant to my hand. See? They're nice, they're nice big and long and by the time you, for a sweater, you really have to have that seam allowance. Okay, so we're going to take two, I cut four here, we're going to take two and we're going to put this right sides together. And I ended up that I cut this edge here. I want them to be right, okay. So we're going to start on this edge here. I want it to roll, so I'm going to let it roll kind of a little bit here when I put it in here. And you might have to, make sure you don't catch that in any of the loops. There we go, get it in there, there we go. I might have to hand stitch that little edge there, make sure we don't get anything caught up in the loops. Okay, we don't want that. 
hardest. Everything's lining up underneath here, underneath these thumbs really well. Let me cut these little towels off here. I'm starting to have, getting in my way. Okay, just want these thumbs to line up nicely and neat. And I want to make sure that I catch the, that inside crease of that thumb. I'm the safe side, I'm going to go over it a couple of times. Backing up and around it, and I want to make sure that I had plenty of room for these thumb joints right here. So, take your time. Check it and make sure things lining up. I don't want to stretch. I nice think about sweater materials, you can always kind of pull it and kind of stretch it around and kind of make it work for you. And again, I want these to kind of curl in a little bit for me. Perfect. And then, oh, come on up. There we go. the way that curled, I'm going to have to come up and roll over it on this side as well. Making sure I get my curls in there just right. Let me pull on this. And let me see where my stitches were. Okay, that's where I ended my stitches right there. That's perfect. Okay, there we go. I can't get back up there. Okay. Cut all of our little off here. Come on. Tell you what, my scissors all need to be sharpened. This is ridiculous. Okay. So I'm putting it putting it on backwards like this. It feels really good. So by the time I turn it inside out, I don't see any place that it looks like I might have missed. I think I might go back over this little thumb corner curve right here a little bit better. Or no? Looks like I got it. Okay, so now this can either be our lining, and then we can fold it over the other, but I'm making these just one ply. So, you can trim if you want to, it's not necessary. So turn it inside out like this. Okay, get a hold of that thumb, push that thumb out. Give me a little thumb. Okay. Trying to get this thumb pushed out here without tearing or breaking anything. There we go. There we go. Kind of shape it around just like that. some of the, um, be sure and tie them if you've got some balls there, just kind of tie them like this and then trim and cut. That way you don't lose your threads. I've got a couple here that look like they're, just be sure and knot them. You don't want your gloves unraveling on you. It is, like I said, an old sweater. Okay. Might have to do a little trimming right in here, but a couple of little pill things kind of sticking off there, but there you have it. From this to this. 
And this is, I mean, this is just really cozy and comfortable. I can't even begin to tell you how. I just want to slip a hot cup of chocolate in my hand and, and just go ice skating. That's what these gloves remind me of. And like I said, you can put some um, buttons on here. You can make these a liner and you can roll another one over and put a button on it like that. There's a lot of things that you can do with these gloves. And you just kind of want to work with them until you get a pattern that you like that works with you. I like my um, gloves to fit nice, but it's got a nice shape to these. And I'm going to have to go through and kind of trim out a little bit right in here and a little bit right off in here. But other than that, my George, I think we've got it. What do you think? Homemade mittens. Who to thunk it? Mm -hmm. I need some hot chocolate. See here, see here, oh mother dear, our mittens we have found. What, you found your mittens, you lovely kittens. Now you shall have some pie. Mmm, I guess Chef Jenny better get back to work. Mittens from a sweater. It took me five minutes a mitten. So in 10 minutes, I had some warm mittens. So the next time you lost your mittens, you naughty kittens, then you shall have some pie because you can make your own mittens and mother dear will never know you lost them. See that? Perfect. Easy to get off, easy to get on. Very simple project. Uh, one down my wrist so that it would cover, my coat would cover it just like the way I wanted it. Um, they're very warm and cozy. And um, yeah, I'm very excited about this. So I'm gonna go ahead, my husband just saw them and he wants me to make him a pair. So I'm going to make him a pair, I think more of an Argyle style. And he likes to wear uh, mittens over the top of his hands in the winter because he's like me, he has poor uh, circulation. So this is Chef and Builder, Janie Pendleton, mittens from an old sweater. I picked these sweaters up at Goodwill, so go out and give it a try. Oh, I'm really happy with these. So. Mittens for a sweater. Who'd have thunk it? Oh, you naughty kittens. Now you shall have pie.